Happy Wednesday! Today is Wednesday, June 27th, which means we have three days until Camp NaNoWriMo starts. And since this is going to be the last video I post before my Camp NaNoWriMo videos, I thought I would just go over my essentials, what I'm going to be using, and like my game plan for tackling it. I know this is going to be pretty similar to my NaNoWriMo video that I made in November, but there is a few things I'm tweaking for Camp NaNoWriMo and I'm going into it with a slightly different mindset, so we'll get into that in a bit. But first, I just thought I would talk about my essentials and my tools when I'm using. So, first and foremost, I am still going to be, oh gosh, I'm still going to be using my baby laptop. It's a Chromebook. It's still running fairly well for how old it is, so thankful for that. Hopefully it doesn't die on me this month. <laughs> And as you can see up on my screen behind me, I am going to be using Word Online, so that connects to OneDrive. Word is just very familiar to me, and going from online editing to like actual like Word editing offline is just a very smooth tra transition when you use the same software, so that worked really well for me in NaNoWriMo. Also going to continue to use a physical notebook for little notes that I need to jot down while I'm typing. That way if I have to remember something for later on or make a note of something I need to change when I go back and revise, it's easier to write it down than break my momentum and open up a new document or put it into some some sort of new document. Also something I don't think I mentioned in November is my Spotify, ooh, it's my Spotify playlist. <laughs> Sometimes I am in the mood for a certain like genre or like a album from a specific artist, but generally I like having different playlists for my different projects. Just a collection of go-to songs that keep me in the mood and settle into the tone of the story. And I don't have to worry about like skipping songs if they don't quite fit. And that's pretty much it for my essentials, what I'm going to be using to get me through next month. Now, as far as the game plan goes, I've decided that I need at least 25,000 words, which roughly calculates to like 800 words a day. However, my main goal for camp is not to write a certain amount, it is to actually finish the whole first draft of the novella, which means that regardless of how many words I write, if the story is not done, then I haven't won. <laughs> and unlike for NaNoWriMo, this poses a couple of new challenges, the first of which is that I am still very bad at gauging like how many words something is going to take up. I don't know, I'm just not good at like thinking about, you know, how long a scene is going to be or how many words it's going to take to finish something. In the past, I feel like I've overestimated and underestimated the amount of, you know, words something is going to take, so not totally sure how this is going to end up. I will say, though, I'm very proud that I have managed to complete my outline, and I actually added in um, a lot of details. I'm pretty sure I've decided on an ending, and as far as I can tell just from going through it, it seems to have a pretty good flow. It ended up being about 4,800 words. I outlined a little bit differently than I have in the past. For example, I started with like the little template where the first block I would put the scene, the second block I put the date, the time, and the place, um, and then the third block is the description, and then the fourth block I used for like additional notes just to like get an idea of the scene because I am writing this scene by scene. I don't think I'm going to put chapters in here. I might break it up into three separate like sections because it is a frame story and I have you know like two different les le lesels, two different levels of what's going on so I might do that but I won't be doing that until you know way down the line like editing or if I'm going to publish it or whatever. But for now I'm just gonna be writing it out scene by scene that works really well for me. I like doing little chunks of it like at a time. So right after like my little blocks of, you know, the bare bones of the outline and, you know, the technicalities of it, underneath I wrote out just summarizing what exactly is going on, putting in details and little bits of information that I know I'm going to need at that time instead of having them separately. I wanted to put everything as much as I possibly could all together in the same outline because this is what I'm going to mainly be referring to as I'm writing and I wanted to keep it together. In addition, I also put at the very top of the document outline all of my characters and my places and things that I don't want to forget. And I hope this method of putting everything together in one document instead of splitting it up into different documents or having parts of my notebook, parts 
here and there is gonna not make it too convoluted when I'm going through. Like I don't think it would work out very well if I was doing this for a full length novel, but since I'm doing this for a novella, I think I can get away with it. And as far as the actual month of July goes, like life-wise, what I have going on, I know like the second week I'm going to be visiting a family for like five days and then towards the end of the month, I think things are going to get really crazy with work. But I don't think the strain will be too much. Like I think this is very doable. I'm very confident in what I've done so far, especially since I only decided I was going to do this like two weeks ago. The excitement is there, the motivation is there, and I really think that's going to help push me through the month, so. With that, I'm going to leave you here. The next time you see me, I will have begun my Camp NaNoWriMo journey. If you are on this journey also, good luck to you. Thank you for watching and coming along with me, and I will see you very, very soon.